Now, earlier this week, two, three days ago now, Tina and I sat here with, uh, with other people as well and we discussed what God did in the city of Makassar. Now, Makassar is a city of about two million people in the world's largest Muslim country, Indonesia. Now, the Makassar people, uh, less than 500 believers, and it was a very dramatic campaign, death threats against myself and the team. I was charged with a crime of blasphemy against Islam, was taken to the police headquarters, interrogated for three and a half hours, walked out of there and preached another gospel meeting. I mean, it, 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 it took two programs to tell the story. And Tina, I still feel like when we were telling it, we were almost rushing through it. There was so much drama. There was, and I don't know if two programs is enough, is enough but no, at I least felt something. Like, yeah, it's something. But one of the things, I, I saw you had a scripture verse that really speaks about what we went through. I mean, and the, the verse you're going to share, I see it, you have it in front of you. It, it really describes what we just experienced a few days ago. But more importantly, I think it describes what some of your experience, what some of the people who have sent in their prayer requests, what, what you're facing right now. So listen to these. Go ahead and share that verse, Tina. Yes, this is John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now, Tina, let me ask you, when, when we were just a few days ago in this, with death threats against us, charges, all kinds of, at one point, 1,500 rioters were ready to attack us. Did you have to practice that yourself? Yes, I, I really needed to practice this. And, and uh, I wanted to, I knew that Jesus has given me his peace that uh, it surpasses my own understanding. I was leaning on him. I was leaning on that peace that I knew that is inside of me.